Hi guys, today I have a haul for you. Um, this is stuff that I've purchased over, well since the end of December. So yeah, I haven't like gone and gotten all this stuff at once. So yeah, not that it's anything cost a lot some of the stuff did cost a pretty penny, which I'm a bit ashamed of. Um, but hey ho. I love it anyway, it's all cool. Um, speaking of Pretty Penny, I will start with the one that made my friend Charlotte go, oh my god, at. And that is the Gorilla Cruel Gardenia Meteorites Highlighter. And this stuff was £41. I know it's crazy, but just look at it. Just bask in its glory and beautifulness. This stuff is gorgeous. 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 Let's do a little itty bitty swatchy for you. I have only actually used this twice because it is that precious to me. Um, I absolutely, absolutely refuse. Oh, it's so pretty. The light in here is just awful, so it probably won't look like much, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely refuse to wear this to work because it is just so gorgeous. I can't justify it melting off my face like it will at my work. So yeah, it's a weekend and special occasions only. So far, only special occasions. Maybe later in the summer it may be brought to weekends. But yeah. Um whilst we're on the highlighters um this is the number seven vital enlightening highlighter powder and i love the number seven limited edition highlighter powders that they come out with usually i miss them so, so i was quite lucky to get this one i'm not sure if you can tell like here it's insanely shimmery the whole thing was covered in the shimmery overlay and it's actually just like a really pretty peachy highlight shade. I don't know why I'm swap even swatching these things for you because you can't really see. It just gives a really subtle shimmer to the face. I mean it's nowhere near as gorgeous as the girl on one. It was nowhere near as expensive as the girl on one. That was only £10. So yeah. Also from number seven, I purchased, if I can get it, another one of these brushes because I just adore these brushes and this one needs cleaning badly. And I also purchased the lipstick from this line, the Stay Perfect lipstick in Gage Uranium, which I can't find at this per precise second. This is Tropical, no, this is Tangerine Touch and um, Gay Geranium where this is Coral, it's straight up orange and it's gorgeous and I can't wait to wear it in the summer but I need to find it first, so yeah. Fail. But um, continuing on from highlighters, I do have two other highlighters. Yeah, I know. The Naturally Collection from MAC. I've had my eyes on these since the Blonde, Brunette and Redhead collection came out all those years ago. I think it was like three years ago now. And this is Redhead. I haven't used these yet. I'm kind of saving them for summer because they will be gorgeous in the summer. And this one is blonde and they're gorgeous. 
gorgeous and I can't wait to, to use them. I picked up some stuff from the Daphne Guinness collection. I picked up the Interior Life palette, which if I'm honest, I could have done without. It's just a bit... No. It's not pigmented really. Or not pigmented all that much and it fades really fast. Although I do love this colour, which is Bruised Sky. And it's just freaking gorgeous, like purpley grey colour that you know, like swatches, like nothing, but I, I adore it. It's very similar to Hoax, um, well it's not really now that I'm looking at them. It produces similar effects as Hoax, I'll tell you that, but this is definitely more blue toned and Hoax is more pink toned. Um, Another thing I got was the Azalea Blossom Blush Ombre, which I've been saving to show on this haul before I use. Um, I also picked up two of the Pro Longwear Lip Cremes from the collection. This one is in Approaching Storm and I kind of jacked it a little, unfortunately. And it's really pretty. And then we have Red Dwarf, which annoyingly is like a dupe for Amorous, in my opinion anyway. So I could have done without that, but I'm glad I have it. And other things I purchased from MAC were um, two empty palettes. These are all eyeshadows I already owned. I just got an empty four pan palette so that I could pick shadows out and make a look with them. And I got a new 15 pan palette because I had eyeshadow overflow. And I also picked up these two eyeshadows here. This is Sumptuous Olive. And I believe this is green smoke. If I can get it out. Yep, this is green smoke. As you can see, I've already um, stuck my nail in it. Because you just have to at some point stick your nail into every eyeshadow you own. I purchased some discontinued things. Um, I bought two backups of the Strawberry Suede from Revlon. I also picked up the Wine Knot from Revlon, which is gorgeous. If you can get hold of this, you need to have it. Try eBay, you could probably pick this up for like two or three pounds, which is like half of what it would have cost if you bought it in the shop. And I also picked up um, New Delight, not New Delight, Spotlight Beige. They kept New Delight, the. They kept New Delight in the colour range, but they dropped Spotlight Beige, which is really annoying because Spotlight Beige is a lot more flattering for more people the new delight would be. So I don't know if they'll ever bring it back again so I picked up four so I have enough for the rest of my life. Obviously. <laughs> um, a couple of other like drugstore type products that I picked up were um, the 17 Photophilus primer which is fabulous. I'll talk about this in my favourites video. And I also got the Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in Hazel. I had this in Dark Brown, which actually made my eyebrows turn out like black. This is like the perfect colour and it was only like £3 from Asda. So steel. In fact, I'll show you what I was using my eyebrows. Um, this is like a pencil from collection 2000. Just this like stubby bit here was all I had left. So I kind of needed 
to get something for my eyebrows because I kind of like trimmed the hairs a bit too far and it just kind of looked like I'd shaved my eyebrows which is never a good look. I kind of wanted to get the sleek brow kit but neither of the Super Dogs in Aberdeen have it in stock. So yeah. And lastly are two palettes, well lastly for the makeup items anyway, are two palettes from Estee Lauder. This one I purchased back in December and this is the Surreal Skies palette and it's just gorgeous neutral colours. I think everybody should have this palette. I also, um, Mother's Day is coming up. If you have the Boots Points saved up or if you have the, the cash to splash, I think this would be an awesome gift for Mother's Day. Just throwing that out there. In fact, this would be a gorgeous thing for like any woman for any occasion. I don't think there's a woman alive who wouldn't appreciate this palette unless you were like anti-neutral. But you know, who needs this palette? Kelsey from Bamaholic TV, you need this palette. I doubt you're watching this, but you need this palette in your life. And then we have this, which was a limited edition, which I had a hassle finding, to be honest. Um, both counters had it in stock, but, well, both counters that I went to, they did have it in stock, but there was no one working for the counter. There was only other, other sales from other counters and they didn't know where the hell it was. So I ended up ordering it from Debenhams Online. They still had it. It's it's not it's never appeared on the Boots online website. Online website, duh. Um, it's never appeared on the Boots website, but it's still on the Debenhams one if you're interested. And this is the Topaz Mosaic, which was from the Estee Lauder Spring 2012 collection, and this is whew, just gorgeous. If I could be as superficial to say. I purchased it mostly for this shadow, but I've mostly used this shadow. This one, like, looks rather strange. It's like a minky steel color. It's really just oddest shade ever. It's really pretty all over the lid. If you don't want like a shimmery lid. So pretty. So that's what I got from makeup wise. And I got a few hair care products because um, I've been finishing some hair care products. Um, I'd had a sample. This is an empty of the Dove Intensive Repair Express Treatment Conditioner and I just happened to be in Asda today and they had it on two for five pounds and I was just gonna get two of these but they only had the one so I got the mask as well um, it's just the Intensive Repair Regenerating Mask Deep Repair for Damaged Hair so those were five pounds for both and they're, they're pretty substantial sizes. This is 180 ml. Um, this studio little thing, I know it looks so compact and tiny, is 200 ml. It's incredible. And I don't know, it, it just smells gorgeous. I can't wait to use it. Um, but I'm gonna wait until I finish my other hair masks I have. Um, the Lee Stafford one, the hair that doesn't grow past a certain length, that's got like one more use in it. And the L'Oreal LV one. Funny story with that one. I keep, because um, I dyed my hair so much last year, I have tons of those intense conditioner tubes and I just keep filling it up. Like every time it gets half empty, I keep filling up with those intense conditioner tubes because I hate having to squeeze them out 
whilst I'm in the shower. <laughs> so I just squeeze them into those jars so I can just scoop out while I'm in the shower. Uh, so I don't know when that'll be finished. But yeah. Anyways, that is my haul. It was a lot of stuff. I apologise. Um, if you want reviews on anything, feel free to ask. Um, I do have a bunch of reviews lined up that I want to do for my blog. Um, but it's just getting the light to take the pictures to upload. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know why I do that. I'm like, so I'll see you in my next video and nothing. Anyways, I'm going to stop being a twat. A twat. Twat. Yeah. Bye-bye.